isn't just really hot, it is potentially record setting. KC24's Jason Taktasian joins us live in Fresno to tell us how people are braving the weather and why we're set for an extended heat wave. Jason, what can you tell us? The National Weather Service out of Hanford telling me that they're expecting a record max temperature in Fresno come this weekend. And I know it's already past 11, but last time I checked my phone, we're still above 90 degrees outside and it really doesn't feel that comfortable to be outside. This is like one of the most hottest ones that I ever experienced. An intense heat wave expected to last at least another week in the Fresno area. I work in construction. I run a, a plumbing company, so we most of the day we work in and the heat. We left home early today. We left the job site early because the heat is just too much. Locals have been coming up with different ways to beat the heat. I try to spend most of the time in the office and uh, as soon as I get home, my wife sent me to get food. We are going to go watch a movie. I feel like every summer is hot, yeah. but we love the summer. This is where we thrive. And some are making a splash. Hot, 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 hot. It's really hot, um, but the good thing is that the city the last, what, five or six years, they got these water parks for the kids now, you know, so I'm so thankful that the kids could cool, cool off like this. Many folks finding ways to get relief from a possibly dangerous heat wave. A meteorologist with the National Weather Service explains why we're seeing high temperatures last. We're going to have a really stagnant system over the area, high pressure system that will really allow heat to kind of just be um, be trapped near the surface. It's a weather event that's expected to set records. The max maximum temperature record for Fresno was 110 in 2001. The two hottest days of the heat wave will be Saturday and Sunday. And so those days, Fresno is anticipated to get to 113. This as folks are also preparing for their Independence Day plans. We are going to go swimming and that is how we beat the heat. We're probably going to be spending the weekend on the lake. And Serato also tells me that the increased heat increases the likelihood of heat stroke and other heat related illnesses. And also, if you do want to beat the heat, to make sure you wear lighter clothing, stay indoors during the hottest parts of the day, and of course, stay hydrated. But for now, reporting live in Fresno, Jason Taktagian, KC24, Local News That Matters.